Oddly enough, last summertime when no one really needs a forced air heater. The design for this, where we got to this point, is in the video links below. What we're going to be talking about today, forced air heaters need a air source to rush air through them to remove the heat and put it in your house. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you two options for a fan, basically a blower fan. One is free, or you can get it for like a dollar or two at most yard sales. The other costs about 30 bucks. They both work really well and they're very efficient. They can run off of solar panels. The first one that I'm gonna be showing you is a 12 volt fan. This is a fan for a boat bilge and it only pulls 27 watts. It's very efficient and it has a very high air volume. fan costs around $30 and it can be vented from your house through your forced air heater. To give you an idea of the type of air volume that this fan delivers, it's pretty impressive and it, that is only 27 watts. This fan also works off of the Harbor Freight system, so you can basically hook it right up to the solar panels and run it directly off of that. I've had this fan hooked up for two weeks, solid, and it actually still runs very good, so it is a very durable fan. If you're looking for a cheaper, free version of that that uses the very same motor, this is a standard hair dryer. Now, hair dryers are alternating current. They use 120 volt what your house uses, but most hair dryers have a standard DC motor on inside of them. Older hair dryers use the element to convert the AC to, D to a lower voltage DC and blocking diodes. This uses blocking diodes to create a bridge rectifier on the inside which converts the AC current into usable DC current. This particular hair dryer probably had several hundred hours of use on it and it still works perfectly. One thing about solar panels when they sit in sunlight is they get very hot. These amorphous panels which are a very dark color actually get up to about 145 degrees. So in a future video we're going to be making a forced air heater out of the panels. They're going to be the heating source and they're also going to be the power source for the fan. Regardless of your forced air heater design, you're going to need a fan source to move that air. These are two great options and both of them work really well. This one has a lot more air volume, so I personally like this one better. I'm going to be adding this to this in a future video and seeing the heat output that we get. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.